Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What is going on, everybody? My name is Zelt Prince, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Now, today, this is a series I've been looking at for quite a while. And based on the series that I'm about to tell you in a second, I've only watched a little bit of it, but not an entirety of, um, of the story to understand the full picture of it. So, we're going to be reacting to Sodor Eclipse, Episode 1, TVC, TVS, Sodor and by uh, Sodor Engines. Uh, it's, it's, this video, I have not seen any of his videos, but I'm going to be checking them out for a little while, especially his Soto War Eclipse videos, because they caught my eye, because I don't truly know anything about Soto War Eclipse. All I literally know is from da what Daylight 3 made, and I heard he's already working on another episode to follow off of his first one, and that first video came out long before I started doing, like, stop Thomas train reaction stuff on this channel so i'm not really gonna say much for this intro other than the fact that i want you guys to go subscribe to this guy for his videos because i'm going to react into episode two that he already made a couple months ago but i'm gonna react into episode one so with that being said guys i'm not gonna waste any more of your time and we get right into it in three two one go oh guys a little loud a collab with well hell on it's going way way too quick. With Truck of Terror. Written by Truck of Terror. Edited by Soda Engines. Soda uh, Truck of Terror is the original author. As far as I know. Like I said, I haven't looked much into it, so. I only know like a little bit, and that's really it in terms of Sodor clips that I know of. If you guys want me to, if you guys want me to react to some of uh, Daylight 3's uh, trans videos of Thomas the Train, then let me know in the comment section below, and I'll save the next batch of his videos for um, for reactions, which I'll probably be doing in the future anyway. I like his cinematography a lot when it comes to the some of his videos. And of course I've got my water. My trusted little water. Sorry about the lighting by the way, it's not that much I can do there. I've been trying to do something about it for months. Here we go. January 8th. Alright, where do I begin? I suppose it should be with introductions, right? Hello, my name is Jack, one of the many engine drivers here on the Northwestern Railway. Generic, I know I love I this music. the best place to start. I drive Donald, the Scottish twin. Luckily, you have a twin hunter who drives Douglas. It's just worked out that way. Anyway, my mom got me this cool journal last Christmas, and I was probably going to draw on it, but I figured a journal detailing the railway's goings on should be rather interesting. Hmm. Anyway, the reason I really started writing in this to begin with is because we were told this morning that in a few weeks a solar eclipse should be coming to Sutter. The Fat Controller has confirmed a party on Valentine's Day and we the evening at least since the eclipse had meet and come through around 8.31 p.m. That's the plan at least. Okay. I can already tell that the writing between Daylight 3's video and this video are completely different. I think Sodor Engines went directly off of the writing 
for Sodor Eclipse, and Daylight 3 added his own things to it, which was still, either way, it was great. Like I said, I've never read it myself, so I don't know, and that's re one of the reasons why I didn't read anything about it, so I don't know anything that goes on in Sodor Eclipse. All I know is Boko, and that's it. It's literally all I know. I want to pour some more water. Oh, it's gone missing, gone without a trace. Well, yeah, here it is. Long, we could only describe a scream coming from the docks we tried to investigate, but it was no good. We've been sticking as close to Douglas as we can. It's hard. The eclipse is coming really soon, but I'm not as excited. I know it's stressful. A timestamp. That's a good sign, isn't it? The eclipse came early. I think we would have seen it if we had been in the tunnel. Huh. We approached the workstation and was Something had changed about him. Oh. God, zombie sounds, I love them. We dropped our goods train and ran for a work shed tonight. Some workmen were inside, apparently. Dick had been sent over for repairs when the eclipse struck. It killed most of the workmen and changed a lot of them. The unaffected ones lured them out, so we are safe. Okay. Donald is in shambles, and I don't blame him. We both have twins out there. We don't know where they are. Despite everything we saw, I actually slept well, and so did Donald. But as stupid as it sounds, we are going back out there. I like the editing work he is um, doing here. It's it's like Percy and the Beast Productions um, videos, but he takes his own snap at it. I should, I guess, I could, I should be saying. Anyway, I like the style. Any either way. The trip was uneventful, but we kept going, but had to stop because a goods train was blocking our way. We saw a big ring shape up run making wheezing noises. I'm so we decided to sneak past. We all knew that engine was a gunner. I guess Murdoch crashed. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's dead. <laughs> Never mind, he's dead. RIP to the 9F. I actually had a Murdoch um, Trackmaster set. I had a couple of Trackmaster sets when I was a kid. Oh, is it? Okay. I like this music too. Narrator narrated audio from under duck Uber duck George Carlin edited with I've been wondering where people have been getting these audio files that sound like Peter Griffin, George Carlin, and such. I've been wondering where people have been getting them and I don't know where wasn't where, but now I think I have an idea. All the condom goes to the rifle creators. Okay. And I that's the end of episode one.
Um, well, now I, I it a, this actually answers one of my original questions when I ha- first heard about Soto Eclipse. I was wondering if it was either the eclipse itself that caused the, an apocalyptic situation, or it was just the the coincidence of the eclipse being there, or there was some sort of scientific experimental thing going on on the island that just got loose at the exact time of the eclipse. It, it might be still be that second option, but because I once again, like I've mentioned, I haven't read Soto or Eclipse myself because I've been saving it for video adaptations. So, I don't know, I guess only the future will have to really tell the truth there. But um, with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I'll be reacting to episode two in the very near future. I just got something else coming out before it. So, with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please go subscribe to Sodor Engines, because he deserves a lot more subscribers than he actually has. And I'll talk to you guys in the future. Bye.